Hello everybody. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Today is Saturday. You guys, I cannot believe it. We moved here two weeks ago yesterday was when we actually moved here. I can't even believe it. But today it is another full day of meals. I'll explain a little bit more about what's going on in the basement today and we'll just spend some time together. We have the tractor is getting picked up so that it can be looked at, make sure that it's good to go. And uh, we're gonna put some racks down in the basement. We gotta go pick up brick and ash from my mother's and that's about an hour away. And I think that's about everything. So let's just go on and jump into the day. Here is breakfast and then we need to put together some lunch. Okay, today's breakfast is Greek yogurt and then we're adding fresh berries and some honey on the top to sweeten it. And I almost forgot to add walnuts. All right, now so for lunch, we are gonna make this chicken papaya soup. I have never made it before. I am just using Pinterest recipes, you guys, right now because in storage is all of my cookbooks from my grandmother and as I'm able to start cooking again, I wanna get back into all cooking everything from scratch. I gotta get those cookbooks. So next weekend our plan is hopefully to go empty out our storage and bring it here. So that's why he is going to be setting up the shelves in the basement and we're gonna start working on emptying the garage. That's my job this week. I think he's standing here next to me. <laughs> is that my job? <laughs> Yeah, well, I think so. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> Put a bomb. There he is. He's getting ready to run and look for a mower to see. There is another place here that sells and we're still on the mission to try and find a mower. He is going to get the zero turn, which is wonderful. And I'm going to throw together lunch while he's doing that. I was going to make some dinner rolls this morning, but honestly, I still have three pieces of bread and there's only four of us. That's Kate's breakfast. What are you talking about? <laughs> three pieces of bread from yesterday. So I'm going to go on and we'll use this up and then I'll make the rolls tomorrow to go with tomorrow's soup. And then tonight we are going to make some uh, shrimp fajitas. And I think that's about it. If I didn't tell you already, I'm going to downsize so dessert I'm only going to make on Sundays because you guys know I've got to get some weight off um, as doctor's order so that I can get my liver healthy and get out of being pre-diabetic. So dessert is only once a week. Otherwise, like last night, what did you eat for dessert? Uh, I actually had fruit cocktail. He did. He loves fruit cocktail out of the can, cut up a banana and put it in. That's what he had and I had some grapes. And that's what we munched on when we were watching TV. So, all right, let's get this started. Uh, I did go ahead and make some more chicken this morning because Luke got me up at four, <laughs> so I have plenty of time to bake some chicken. And I'm gonna shred that up real quick, get it off the bone, and then we will throw this soup together. Well, you know what they say. There are no kingdoms without rulers. Are you ready for change? All right, so here's the chicken all shredded up, and to that chicken, I am going to just add the leftovers from last night. It is chicken, potatoes, onions, um, had a few radishes, just whatever I threw in my sheet pan last night. Okay, next we're gonna go on saute some veggies, and I will leave um, all of the ingredients down below so you know what to add. Sauteing veggies, it says, in the recipe that it is recommended but not necessary. And you can do this with raw chicken if you don't already have cooked chicken. It's just I wanted to use cooked chicken since I was already adding some cooked chicken. I didn't want to like mix raw and cooked. Just have, you know, all of it cooked. Um, you could also make it in the Instapot if you wanted or on the stove top. So it had lots of ways that you could make it. And let's just go on and get started. I gotta cut up all the veggies that go with it. Let's go, stop the race. We should 
trying to find your crown Happy camper through the ups and downs Keeping calm, winning ground Let's build castles now We'll make gold on our way up Through them trees before we reach them tops Oh no, half isn't enough Let's build castles now Well, you know what they say for about four hours. You could cook it low all day if you wanted, if you were like using some raw chicken, but I'm just doing high <laughs> for about four hours. I got a little singy songy there going. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's just go on and get started with the day. All right guys, so I got a call from the mechanic I used to fix the cars. He is on his way out. He is uh, being a champ and bringing out the Impala on his way so I don't have to worry about going out and picking that up uh, but before he gets here I have to get into the barn I guess I should have said that he's coming out to take a look at the uh, Ford tractor we have sitting out here uh, check the seals that sort of thing may need to take it with him so he's bringing his uh, trailer with him so he can haul it but I have to make room to be able to get it so I am on my way out to the barn now and uh, clear a path to get it out of the barn if we need to get it out. So, yeah, I'll uh, catch a little bit of that, I think, and we'll go from there.
so lunch is smelling fabulous. They are out doing this real quick. Um, getting the barn ready to have the guy come and take the tractor and get it fixed. But I thought I would talk to you about the basement. So I'm in the basement. And I wanted to share with you what was going on. Um, we do not have any leaks. <laughs> there are no leaks. But our last basement did have leaks. So Charles is very nervous. I mean, we did like full out flooded. So Charles called Everdry. And <laughs> they basically told him the house was falling apart. They were like tearing it all apart saying, uh, the walls are bowing, the one wall is bowing, that there was moisture in all the walls. And took him outside. They want to make sure we were both home, first of all, which I am not a, <laughs> a person who likes salesmen. And I was like, whatever. You just talk to him. I'm not. He came in very salesman -y. I wouldn't buy him what he was dishing out. And Charles was, though, hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> He's like... $25,000 and I'll fix your basement problems. And I was like, seriously? But all right, if that's what you really want and that's gonna make you sleep good at night, then I'm, I'm gonna support you to spend $25,000 on something I don't think needs to be done. However, I will say he found some mold in the basement to give a dry guy. Now don't freak out, it's not the mold that's making you sick or anything like that, but there is some mold. It's not run out of the house, uh, but I'll get to that in a minute. So, so Charles had a couple other guys coming to give quotes too, because that's so much money. So <laughs> the guy comes out, we also call the guy then about mold. And so he comes out and he's like, I used to work forever dry. Don't trust them, please don't trust them. And we were like, well, he could have just said something bad. And he said, I highly recommend this guy. This and, and this mold guy, he had nothing to gain from this. And so he said, you know, I have this other guy. He's an independent contractor, does fabulous. I work with him on everything. And he came walking through our house, the mold guy. And he's like, yeah, you don't have a mold problem. You do have some mold, which is a very common mold in basements. And I'll show it to you guys here in a second. It's a white powdery kind of mold. And he said, it's very common in unfinished basements. It just, it gets moisture and that's what happens. So we, they will treat it and we have to leave for 24 hours for them to just like get rid of it all. And it's just in the basement. And then we have to keep oscillating fans going to just keep the air movement going. And he said, that's the only way that you keep it out of your basements. If it's a stagnant, just been sitting in your basement like this, they just always have it. And he said, the only thing it will do is it's an allergen. So it will make your allergies a little worse where we thought maybe they had pets and pet dander because we're not used to pets and pet dander. He said that that's most likely what it is because it still does circulate through the house. And just like any kind of mold outside, like a seasonal mold, it's the same kind of thing just in your house. So we called the guy that he said to call and that was not ever dry. It was this other independent contractor and he came out and he's like, are you kidding me? Nothing is wrong. Your basement looks great to me. He said, Boeing, he said, okay, maybe I see a little bit of what he was talking about. He said, but I'll tell you ever dry right now can fix their guns that they shine to say, you know, like what, uh, how much moisture is in. They, can calibrate them so that everything looks bad so that therefore you want to buy it and he said not just them a lot of these companies will do that and he said i would not do anything until spring i doubt you even have any issues but if you do it would show up in the spring and so i'll show you some of the things charles was talking about so like when you look here Charles was like, well, did they cover something up because that's of course what the ever dry guy said well they were just covering stuff up and you'll see like a little dent there. Okay, I put a better light in. But you can see like he, he was like, maybe they just stuck out over and you can see some white on the ground. That's not even the mold. So that's the stuff that Charles saw that really is just not like a great big deal. And the guy that came and, and saw it was like, that's just not a big deal. 
So in the spring, if there is a problem, we can address the problem then and we'll know what we're even looking at. He said, but I would not go digging up your backyard and putting all this waterproofing stuff all over and spend $25,000. If I were you, I would not do that. Um, you can see like there's a little crack right here in the foundation. It happens. It happened at our, we had them at our other house, but ours actually had some water. Now we have not had a ton of rain because we've only been here for two weeks. So, you know, it could be that a little bit of water is gonna seep up through some of that. But one of the main things was Charles wanted to make sure that it was completely good to go before we finish the basement because that will be on the radar to finish the basement. And he just wanted to be sure. So, <laughs> that's what's going on in the basement. Now the mold, I'll show you guys what it looks like because you guys, some of you could even have it in your basement. Hold on, let me see if I can find the spot. Okay, so this white stuff right here, you can see on some of the rafters. And up there, that is the mold he's talking about. And that is on the ceiling and it is like under the stairs there. So we are going to have that treated not something like i said we have to run out of the house and he said we got to be gone for a day but because we don't want to be raining any of that chemicals we would rather open the house and just stay gone for at least a night because you know we don't want to to be breathing in whatever chemicals they're going to use to treat it so we're getting that set up that was what was good that came out of all of this and thank goodness everdrive was a free <laughs> a free one but he brought out his computer he just set up this whole thing you guys it was salesman 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 got one so here is what i've got to get empty this week so we can empty the storage unit out and put that in here so i can start going through all that box by box and then i can pick what i want to keep and what i want to get rid of and this though is my spice rack from the other house so we're going to hang this in the kitchen so i don't turn downstairs every time i need simple spices like cinnamon garlic onion <laughs> that kind of stuff and the tow truck is here but they are still um down there looking at the tractor so we'll see what happens with that hopefully they don't even have to take it and it's good to go we'll find out here in a minute <laughs> they're all being crazy they're, slapping they're so precious okay ronnie so what are their names uh, who is iris, this one iris brie bear ashinger there. Raven, everyone kind of named her. Raven. Sunshine. Sunshine, I named. Yeah. Here comes Sunshine. And then <laughs> Kate named the other one Moonshine. <laughs> it's Sunshine and Moonshine. Hi, guys. <laughs> they love to run up to people. All right, now it is time to finish up the lunch. It is about 1.30, so I put this on around 10 on high. And the potatoes are cooked through. So Charles has my <laughs> tripod, so I'm gonna try and do this so one-handed, but basically all we're gonna do is those big chunks of potatoes, we're gonna pull those out like that and put them in a blender. And then we're gonna add a can of coconut milk. And I'm just using this coconut milk here. And we're gonna blend this up really quick. And then we're just gonna add this right here. And Stir this together and that makes it the creamy part of the pot pie soup. So look at that is so creamy now. And this is ready. 
I'll let you guys know how we like it. Okay, so I tried it. I think it tastes delicious. It definitely needs a lot of salt, um, which I didn't add very much to it. So salt it and pepper it. And it's really good. I would definitely make this again. Who are you gonna go see? Open door, please open door. Okay. <laughs> Who is that? I love you, Boo Boss. I love you. And this. Hi, Simba. All right, guys, so quick update on the tractor situation. I am uh, back down at the barn. My mechanic has actually left. He would uh, prefer, I think, to just really work on it here. Photo bomb. Photo bomb. Prefer to work on it right here in the barn versus take it back to his place. Um, so it did not go as well as he had hoped today. Um, he does feel that the tractor's in pretty good condition overall, no major issues, but he's got some issues with not getting enough spark and fuel. That could be because it's set for quite a while, and um, yeah, so he did, I don't know, probably an hour, hour and a half working on it today. Um, he is going to come back next Saturday, is the plan for now, as long as the schedule still holds, and try to do some more work on it then. Um, I need to get a six volt battery charger for it though, because that is one of the problems is the battery is just tapered off. This turned out to be a six volt system, not a 12 volt system. So I did not have any way to get it jump started, nor did he. Uh, so that activity is in my court for this week. I'll get it charged and then hopefully he gets out here and gets some basic work done to it next weekend and we get it up and running. Um, but yeah. So, just in case you don't remember what all that looks like, there we go. My 601 Workmaster. Um, but overall, you know, I think uh, what he was saying is, is they've done aftermarket carburetor to it. They've done um, relatively new battery, new tires. Uh, there's just a lot to it. He said it'll still be temperamental, but that is because it is a very old tractor. Um, but that we had a good bush hog to go with it and a lot of the extra plow accessories and disc uh, accessories that we have, we should be good for quite some time. Oh, I lost my light. So you can see he mowed some back here. We haven't gotten the kids on the swing yet, but we hung a swing way right over there on the tree. We showed you guys which tree we were gonna hang one on. And I thought since I'm back here, I might as well go on and pick some flowers for the kitchen. Birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. So I cannot wait. We are going to do our projector and do a big movie on the barn back here sometime in October. I thought we'd watch Babe or we're going to watch Focus Pocus. Hey there. I got flowers. I see that. I'm running out of flowers to pick. They're dying off. All but the white ones are everywhere. Several round 17. He's gonna make around 18, 18 to 20. Will you say hi to the friends? We haven't also, seen Also, hi all of you, including you, Mom. Well, hi to you too, baby. I was wishing, I was wishing to upload, to upload round 17. He didn't make round 18 to 20 and upload them. But I can make my, I have a real 1,760 re-runner pack collection and extended. Oh, okay. So there's where I put the flowers. I think it looks so pretty on the table out here. I'm loving it. 
Okay, it is 7.30 and I'm just now starting dinner, but luckily this is a super fast and easy dinner. It is shrimp, fajitas, sheet pan style. Um, Charles is on his way back right now with Brooke and Ash, and so I didn't want to start it until I knew he was gonna be home and could eat it, you know, hot, and we can all sit together. So here's how you make this real quick. Should be so easy. We got time, but no money. But there ain't nobody stopping us. We got bills, but no dollars. But now we don't really give up. No, we don't really give up. Living for the ray of light. Life can be beautiful. Life can be beautiful. Going all the way tonight. Making it beautiful. Acting like there's no tomorrow. Acting like there's no tomorrow. Acting like there's no tomorrow. Acting like this. Acting like this. Half teaspoon of garlic powder. Half teaspoon onion powder. Two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of cumin, and just stir that up. Okay, that's gonna bake at 400 now for uh, 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'll pull it out and we'll just heat up some tortillas. They just got home, <laughs> so I'm behind. And uh, it'll be ready in just a few minutes and we'll top it with a little bit of fresh lime juice and some chopped cilantro. My mother sent some banana pudding she made for the girls while they were there, so we're having this for dessert tonight. Okay, so that is it. That's gonna wrap it up for tonight. I got a husband here somewhere. Put a bomb. <laughs> and I'm gonna go spend some time with my family. We're just gonna wrap these up in tortillas. My battery is about to die, so perfect timing. I will just see all of you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful night. Bye, everybody.